is Meta about to die? Now, this is the big question. Is Meta about to die or is it already taking its dying breaths? Just when a young billionaire had a company gleaming with success, he decided to rebrand in order to grow this new space called the Metaverse. I mean, he's done well to secure the name Meta, but with all those resources, you know, it wasn't surprising. However, has he just sacrificed everything that he has built to put all his eggs in the Metaverse basket? Is Meta dying, already dead, or is this just the beginning of something new? Today, we are gonna unveil the tantalizing Metaverse in all of its glory. The stakes are high, and we are gonna discuss whether the project is gonna get dethroned shortly after its coronation. Grand rebranding Facebook to Meta. In a letter from Mark Zuckerberg, he states that we are at the beginning of a new chapter in the internet. The next platform will be even more immersive and you'll be able to do almost anything you can imagine. Zuck's plan for the metaverse is to take Facebook from a single use platform into a multi channel network that will give you that sense of feeling and presence all within his meta. The official new name of Facebook being Meta was, was also met with a little bit of rebrand. The logo itself, nothing particularly special, but what it does is it kind of highlights the expansion of the Web3 community and also the Metaverse. So this could be considered as an exciting new transformation. But the golden question is, how much money is Meta actually burning in their quest? The Meta umbrella incorporates many individual apps. Some of them you'd be more familiar with like Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. These platforms lay at the heart of Meta's version of Metaverse, and they play a fundamental part in their virtual reality, augmented reality, pretty much everything in between. A virtual world tied together, but then brought into the present. This technology sounds incredible, but is Meta that little bit too early? And are they burning a massive hole within their pockets? Hold tight for this one, guys, and make sure you're strapped in. Meta has burned $15 billion on the project since last year. $15 billion. In the previous video, we talked about Google acquiring YouTube for $1.65 billion. And now that being worth in excess of hundreds of billions, if not trillions, Meta's just gone around and burnt in about 18 months, $15 billion. Zuck has lost his head. And what is there to actually show for it? The company has not yet actually shown what the money's been spent on. And the metaverse is at risk of going into a really deep, dark hole. The details of where the money has gone certainly remain fuzzy. And the transparency amongst investors is nothing that we haven't seen already from Zuck. If I was a main investor in Facebook, I'd be pretty pissed off by it. One thing that can be documented is though Meta's $2.8 billion loss in Meta Labs alone, which is a crucial part of their Metaverse project, is pretty alarming and would cause some real concern. You have to remember as well, Meta is also weakening from growing competition from other social media platforms. We previously mentioned how I believe that YouTube is going to take over Google as the most valuable website in the world. And we've been banging on for the past few months about TikTok shop, combining content and commerce, to do something that Amazon could never do. And the evidence here proves it. Meta was once one of the top six companies in the whole entire world by market capitalization. It now struggles to feature in the top 10. That's a pretty big fall from grace. So let's look at what the actual results of the Metaverse project are. One of the main features of the Metaverse is to allow the marketplace and consumers to expand and to bring products into a space that could not ordinarily be reached. The impact, it is to ignite our sensory experiences. The results of the Metaverse allow us to move freely and seamlessly between virtual, augmented, and reality. We can improve communication, work better, play better, connect more freely while I am talking so much. Zuck's head is firmly in the sandbox. Not figuratively, it is literally in the sandbox. What are we seeing as a result of this though? And the first one is a big decline in Facebook. Cluttered feeds, 
Does this sound familiar? Facebook is traditionally a platform that allows you to connect with family and friends across the globe. But now Facebook is actively moving towards more unwanted content. But Call me crazy, but how does that sound good to the user? No wonder people are using it less. Facebook has literally gone against its own ethos. In the new entertainment world of TikTok, Facebook has ultimately met its rival. It acknowledged this and tried to copy a lot of TikTok features, which ultimately failed as they couldn't be replicated in the same light. TikTok style content fails to serve the purpose of Facebook's core mission, which is to connect and update people. Their mission is just not the same again. Meta is desperately trying to get people to stick around, but being a copycat certainly isn't the right answer. The new generation love entertainment and have been brought up in front of TikTok. They are more bothered about cultural trends and less about the personal insights that Facebook has always provided. Having said this though, Facebook has actually stopped losing users this year. And it's actually shown, if not slight, I mean very, very slight bit of growth. So is Facebook having a comeback? Yeah, I don't think it is. So not only Facebook has hit a massive decline due to Zuck's head being in a sandbox, but the jewel in the crown that is Facebook, the ultimate OG of social media platforms, is now having a real tough time. So I asked you this question, is Instagram actually dying? The most popular platform in Meta's arsenal is becoming less valuable. This is because Instagram is killing off its organic reach. This is meaning that people are not seeing content in an authentic way anymore and they are more being targeted by ads. What happened to Facebook is happening to Instagram. They don't want you to build reach organically. They want your money. They want you to pay to reach your audience and that is just not fair. But all the creators that built these great audiences are creating amazing content, really engaging with their community. You are now at a loss all down to Zuck trying to line his pockets due to the losses of the metaverse. The algorithm is fixed and it has been altered to prioritize the paying customer. And this is why your engagement is so low. So it's pretty understandable why all these creators are so fed up with Instagram, especially the ones that spent years building a loyal following. As I already said, the algorithm has been played with. Creators are frustrated because they want to maximize their reach and engage their audience. The new algorithm is hazardous and it's not playing ball with the creators. Instagram's aim to find different ways to monetize their platform is forcing creators to spend money on boosting their posts. This means that the organic reach of posts is becoming less valuable because it cannot compete against paid advertising. What was once a viable organic solution, Instagram has now tarnished this with its overemphasis on paid ads. And ultimately, I can't help but think this is because they're losing so much goddamn money in this flipping metaverse. It's pushing creators more and more and more off Instagram and onto other platforms. Really, the boys at the big table at Meta really need to sort their shit out because ultimately they are the catalyst which is driving these creators over to Twitch, TikTok, and YouTube. So there's mad frustration across creators and users, but as Metaverse put all of its eggs into one basket and is it banking on the Metaverse becoming the next wave of social media? We discussed how YouTube is probably going to become a social engine. My next vlog is going to be on TikTok and how they are creating content and commerce to form this beautiful shopping experience. With Instagram backing out of the commerce game and kind of pulling the plug on Instagram shop, have they really gone balls to the wall and really gone into the metaverse? And is Zuck playing his final hand?